Good morning. I wanted to talk to you about um, hazes. There's hazes are basically deteriorations in water quality where you see clouding, but it's not green water clouding. It's a uh, milky or gray or brown types of clouding, and uh, there's a huge difference between the two, uh, and they're worth explaining. First would be the gray or milky type clouding that you get after you put rocks or aggregate in uh, the pond right after it's built there's a gray type of haze that would be and this should make sense logically that would be a mineral haze which is basically just um, microparticles of gravel sand and that sort of thing that are used in the uh, in the construction of the pond and the mineral hazes are not particularly good for the fish. Uh, what you'll notice is the slime coat is pretty absorbent on the fish. The, the fish are kind of slimy. And one of the reasons they are is because of a mucus slime coat. And their gills are just as mucusy. And what you'll notice is the minerals have a tendency to stick to the slime coat. So the fish will become very unhappy. They'll show you clamped body language where their fins go into the sides and they kind of uh, stay still. And uh, they're not very happy in mineral, mineral hazes. Um, whenever possible try to avoid those or don't even put fish in that environment so when you put a pond together you might want to wait till the mineral haze is gone kind of matters um, the other thing is the other kind of haze would be a bacterial haze and that's where the water is cloudy uh, hard to see the fish and there's a smell it has not awful but you can put your nose near the water and it doesn't smell crisp like a mineral haze might it smells um, organically active maybe slightly not good. Bacterial hazes are awful. Uh, there was a guy uh, named Bullock at uh, Auburn University. He did a study where he put trout into water that just had a bacterial haze. That's it. Not even bad bacteria. And the stress of being in a bacterial haze broke them with um, gill disease. Um, bacterial gill disease for trout. That's all it took. Koi are a little bit more resistant. Um, but I still want you to be uh, very alert to um, bacterial hazes and try not to let those happen. And you might say, well, well what can I do about bacterial hazes? Uh, one is immediately suspend feeding. Don't feed anymore until that starts to clarify. If your filter's dirty, go ahead and clean the filter. You could consider upgrading the filter to something larger. Cut your crowding down. And remember, you want one inch of fish per 10 gallons of water if you're crowded. I always say Mother Nature will do your culling for you. If you don't, she'll always take your best fish. One inch of fish and 10 gallons of water for the proper stocking density. Um, bacterial hazes can also be if your child fed the fish and put a, a, a coffee can of food in there. Not so good. If there's uneaten food on the surface, go ahead and net it out. Uh, look for dead fish or anything else that might be uh, decaying in the pond to cause a bacterial haze. Usually, though, it's kind of a new pond. If you have sponge filtration or even access to a little bit of sponge filtration, you can use a product called AccuClear. It's a water clarifier. If the water's really hot and you don't have an air stone, don't use AccuClear. But if the water is pretty well aerated and you have a sponge filter to take out the flocculated material, go ahead and use AccuClear. What it does is it coagulates all the bacterial hazes, uh, organics, and then it allow the sponge filter picks it up very, very well, um, better than some other filters. Um, so mineral hazes uh, can also be cleared with ultraviolet sterilizers. They're um, light. It's a UV light, basically. It's, it's kind of like sun radiation A and B. And uh, the water is run uh, through a tube with the light. Now, obviously, they're separated for electrical reasons. But the water goes through a tube right next to the light. And organic and bacterial and algal organisms in the water are killed by that, which is cool. Um, so basically uh, mineral hazes are very very bad they can create disease afterward you can clarify the mineral haze but watch after that for some bacterial issues to show up in the gills because the gills are very fragile mineral hazes basically don't even put fish into that environment because it's a new pond problem just wait to stop mineral hazes and bacterial hazes that's what i wanted to cover today uh, more information if you guys have uh, anything in particular that you would like covered in one of these videos, you are absolutely welcome to send an email to ice at freezemail.com. That's the all that email address is for is to solicit ideas for a video for beginners. Uh, don't uh, don't send me a video idea for you know. Um,
does pH effect, does pH derangement affect uh, large fish before small fish or small fish before large fish? Because uh, I don't think no one even knows that. They can make it up. The pundits will make it up uh, based on some reading about dog um, gastric flora. They can usually extrapolate something about uh, pH in fish tanks. Anyway, um, that's all for today. I'm going to leave about a minute on the end for um, the truncation that uh, YouTube does to me all the time, and uh, I appreciate it. Mm-hmm.